Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay, and you could find my eBay and Poshmark store at MCWare for you. So I'm doing a haul today of things that I purchased last night at the Goodwill while I was surfing. So let's just jump right into it. The first thing I brought was this little dress, and it is by Lauren Ralph Lauren, and it's a size large, sleeveless, and super long. It almost looks like a skirt, but it actually it is a dress. And it's maybe at, at least a yardstick in length. <laughs> so there we have it. And I pay $6 per dress. Next, I have a new with tags. So somebody paid 50 apparently, and this is Carol Hotchman, size 2X, one of those fuzzy, cozy, like a muted lavender pullover mock neck. Okay. Next was a new to me brand, and it says Emilio Pepe. Made in Italy. I thought it was cashmere at first, but it's actually not. Extremely, extremely soft. Polka dots in the front and solid pink in the back. And I paid $5 for each. It's $5 per sweater. Also new with Tags Loft. Fair Isle. Very, very cute. Again, mock neck. New with tag, size large. Okay. Next is a vintage 1970s Montgomery Ward, which I think went out of business in the 80s. And it's just a red unisex vest. And I think in the 70s, ladies wore these over turtlenecks, probably white turtleneck and like a long denim skirt. Nowadays, I think you would wear it with a little tank under it or bralette, and you'd probably just leave it unbuttoned. That's how younger women, anyways, wear them. This is a Joe Dial, J-O-D-I-F-L, size 1X. Oops, here's that tag. And why I picked it up wasn't because of the brand, but because of the pretty sleeves. And it's solid white, and the sleeves are just really pretty. Now we have a Land's End size 18 white eyelet lace blouse. It's eyelet lace, which is a bit see-through, so you'd have to wear either a white bra or some sort of cami underneath it. All right, this is a, I think this is Lanzen as well. Yep, Lanzen XL. And it is red and navy, a little cardigan. Very, very cute. Are those, oh, those are real pockets. All right. All right, these are two little vintage national sweaters that I picked up that I may keep for myself. Haven't decided yet. One in turquoise, short sleeve. And they're just little soft, thin pullover sweaters. One in turquoise and one in navy blue. And this is what the tag looks like. All right. One in turquoise and one in navy blue. The total for all these items came to $85. Again, cost of goods is between five and six. So I do try to list everything at $35, $40, and then I usually take an offer. Somewhere within a 10, if I um, list it for $40, i will take a $35 offer. If I list it for $35, I'll take a $30 offer. And if I list it for $30, lots of times I'll take a $25 offer. It a lot has to depend on the brand, how long it's been sitting, and how many watchers. So how much traffic it's getting. Okay, so this is an express um, jumpsuit. Wide leg jumpsuit. And newer pieces of, of express 
um, they started dating their pieces. So this is what the tag looks like. And newer, when I say newer, like in the past 10 years. And then underneath, if you look at Express, it'll have a little tag like Gap and Old Navy does. And this actually says 717. So it's actually from 2017. So it's actually not very new. But it feels new. It looks new. And this is a very good style of jumpsuit with a little T or a crop top under it. And it probably retail for close to 100. So I'll probably list it for 40. All right. So let's see. Next is some bras, and this is a Catherine's 46B. Normally I don't pick up small sizes like this, but I've been selling a few of the smaller sizes left that in my closet, so I decided to pick them up. And they are, they feel new. I'm gonna say they're probably new without tags. And I think Catherine's is through online now, and I don't think there's probably any tags anyways or through QVC, one in a cream color and one in a nude color. And then a couple Soma. Soma is a very good bra to pick up, retails for about 68, and you can sell them for about 20 to $25 if they're in excellent shape. Newer Soma bras have lots of tags. And this is a 40C cup underwire. Another Soma. This is the Soma pull over the head style that has the little pads that are removable. It's just very easy breezy, pull it over the head, a good one to sleep in if you need some support. And that is a, the Soma XXL. And that is a kind of a muted pink color. Okay. And then lastly is a Soma stunning support Falconet bra. Okay. And again, this is the most popular color. If you are into selling bras, this is the color that you want to get. And I spend $3 per bra. And so I sell them. I want to sell, I want to get at least 20 for them. And again, with Poshmark and eBay, they take a 20% commission. So just because I'm selling each bra for 20, I'm not getting 20. Okay. Last is a black quilted backpack that I thought was Vera Bradley at first. And these are $4.99 at our local Goodwill, which is in North Carolina. And actually, I brought this for myself because I'm going to be traveling this summer. And I thought it would be a good one to have. You carry it like this or put it on your back. Very roomy. And I wish I could find a brand, but it might just be Amazon. If anybody knows, let me know. Um, can't find a brand on it. It's animal print and it has that thicker, like for a laptop, if you wanted to carry a laptop in there, I think. And then the other bag I brought is Genuine Leather. I try to just pick up Genuine Leather. That one I picked up because it's for myself, but for selling, I try to pick up just Genuine Leather. And I see this strap just came off, but it could be fixed, <laughs> thankfully. Let's fix it. There we go. And it's a crossover messenger bag, like that. And it does say Pell Leather. You could see that little floral. And it has that leather smell, like, you're, you're, like you just walked into a cowboy, um, cowboy shop or some sort of leather goods shop. Hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's a very pungent leather smell. It's very clean. You want to make sure when you buy bags, genuine leather tends to do the best. But you want to open them up to make sure that there's no spilled makeup or ink or anything like that going heavy. And the other thing you want to take notice of is that the zipper is smooth and that the zipper's not broken. Because I used to not check those things and I would have to just redonate or salvage them. So, okay, that is it. So that haul came to $85. The only two things that are missing because they're in the wash are two vintage Chops Ralph Lauren. Um, tea towels that I just brought for my kitchen because I'm doing a vintage theme. So there you have it. Anyways, thank you for watching and take care. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.